friends here we are going to see three more different operations on your given string they are like count index and find operations see no you can easily understand count operation count is nothing but just assume that you are having some string in that given string a particular character how many times it is appearing in a given string for that you are using count operation let me open my terminal here also i mean python shell python command line let's say x equals to python is easy and it is popular language x dot count right i'm going to count how many times letter sorry word is is there or i'm going to count only particular character no problem you can check it right or you can check t or you can check letter a right you can check particular character or some word also let's say i'm going to check uh easy anyway easy word is there only one time so how many times that particular word or character is appearing in a given string to count that you are using count operation right now x of index this is the next operation let's say i want to find the index of letter p see very first letter p is there very first character p is there we know whenever if you assign string in this way we have positive indexes as well as negative indexes if we count with the positive letter p is at zero but at the same time somewhere you have p here and here but your index will give by default whatever the index operation you have on a given string that will look from left to right and very first wherever you are getting p that index it will give but in case if you want to look from particular position i want to look from uh, index 1 that means you are skipping index 0 you are not searching from index 0 you are searching from index 1 to last yes from where 25th you have now instead of 25th i am looking from 26 then 27 is we have one more p letter after that do we have anything let's say i am searching from 28 you don't have that string in a given uh, after 28th index that's why i am getting an error right not only that you can check with like uh, is so let me check with from starting yes somewhere in 7th index is word is starting i index is 7 but if you try to look after some particular index i want to look from 23 after 23 index you don't have is word that's why it giving an error that's why you know if particular thing is there in a given string you can go and search with index to get the index value of your given string but anyway index operation is sometimes you know it is giving bad result in this way right so what i can do is x dot find suppose i am doing is or let's say only single character p i want to look from second index yes somewhere 25th i want to look from 26th index yes somewhere 27 i mean p letter is there 20, 08th position 25th position 27th position i want to look from 28th you are getting minus 1 means now after 28 you don't have any p letter in a given string see compared to index right you can simply forget about your index operation just it better to remember only find operation of course you have both the things but it's better to you remember find operation to find index of your particular string or a character so how find is going to work if that particular character or word is there it will give the index of that uh, or it will give minus 1 if it is the, if it is not there suppose after 28th index from 28th index up to last you don't have any p letter p character in a given string that's why it is giving minus 1 now if this result is minus 1 then you can say that this particular string this, this particular character is not present from 28th to last index or some so and so index to last let's say in entire string i am looking for letter called z or string character called z you don't have z in a given string because your string is like x you don't have anywhere z in this string that's why x dot find will give minus 
right so guys this find is very very helpful in your real time instead of count right of course count is also useful but find is very very useful let's say simply give me one uh, example i am trying to find java version through my python script right so you got some output so something like java version some 1.6 something like that right first what i will do is your java version variable dot find first of all i will check whether java is there or not in a given string if it is there i will get some non zero value i mean a positive index value then i can say that yes successfully i found java and some java version is there in the variable called java version let's say i got an output like while finding my java version error while finding now if i try to look java in the java version variable you don't have that means you were unable to find your java version with the help of your logic somewhere something wrong right so to take some decision this value will be helpful okay so just remember guys how to use find and how it is going to work while writing our scripts we will use this so that you will be clear how to use find operation okay so this is very very important in your real time okay guys thank you for watching this video